sit down. Oh. My buns got so tight on that one. <laughs> yo, yo, what's up? This is another episode of Sticks and Halos. We're here at Cerritos Ironwood 9. I'm gonna try and break bogey today. And my goal today is just to be really disciplined on these par three courses. I don't have to break out the driver, use some clubs that I am feeling comfortable with and make really, really good decisions. So hopefully I can do that today, keep it locked. It's Sticks and Halos, let's go. All right. Got about 115 yards here. On the green, it's a great way to start. First hole, looks like it's breaking right to left. You gotta hit it, Nick. You have to hit the ball. It's good to start out with a par, but there's something that I'm doing where I'm not being aggressive on these birdie putts, where I'm afraid to miss them long, and I gotta miss birdie putts long, um, just to give myself an opportunity. So, good par, good start of the day, but it's a mental game, gotta get better. Caught it fat though. Dang it. Uh, a bad shot is an opportunity to do something good. I'm just gonna try and be smart. I'm gonna just try and keep it low and advance it. Get it from out of these trees. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine, we're moving forward. And I'm just trying to play bogey golf, so that was a good shot. 57 yards away. Just gonna try a nice little easy swing here. Nothing too crazy. Soft hands. Get up there. Just didn't carry enough. Roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out. All right, putting for bogey. It's a bogey golf, I'm trying to break bogey, so just don't get out of control, try and stay disciplined. Hopefully this is in for bogey. I can walk away from this with uh, getting myself out of some trouble. That's a bogey. We're back on track. All right, saying it's 133, I don't trust it, so I'm going to just use a wedge. Come back, come back. Perfect, on the green. This is another one of those opportunities where I can aim for the pin or I can try and go long because this is a birdie opportunity. And I don't know why I'm missing birdie opportunities short. It doesn't make sense to. So, let's miss it long. And it's short. Ah. Nicholas, that's horrible. All right, see if we can make par. Remember, short is bad, Nick. Short is bad. Here we go. I'll take a par. Just trying to stay disciplined. Don't need to do driver. You can actually just stay in the fairway. More of a disciplined club right here. Okay. 
Left, a little left. All right, second shot. See if I can get this on the green and avoid this tree limb. That would be great. Second shot, I think I'm on the green. This is one of those two tier greens. I wish I would have made it up to the second part of the green. But this is my third shot. I would say I'm putting for birdie, but I'm just putting at this point. Stop, stop, stop. All right, I got it up on the second tier, but it's kind of long. I got my work cut out for me. This is my par putt. And I'm wondering, should I play this still long or short? Or just in the cup? That is golf. All right, 108 to the flag. Let's see if we can get a hole in one. so good it looks like it's gonna be a hole in one and then it lets you down <laughs> putting for birdie so i just don't want to miss this short that's all all right i'll take a par That was on the green it's short so on the fringe i could try and chip this but i think i would get closer using my putter than i would with a chipper so i'm just gonna try and put it try and walk away with a two putt if it's a three putt i just gotta live with it i feel like that was the right line I'll take the par. Oh, too much. Mm -hmm. Too much. It's over the bunker, but I think it's a little bit too much. Went super left. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how we can play ourselves back into this one. As you can see, the distance was great. I mean, it's right on line with the flag. If it was straight, it would have been a hole in one, damn near. So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna try and chip this up. Roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out. I'm mm -hmm. going to say this is a pretty straight putt. It might break a little bit left to right. It's a good attempt. Can't be mad at that. You know, listen, bad tee mm -hmm. shot, a little chip on, two putt. Can't be mad at that. This is 111. Mm -hmm. oh, come back, not in that bunker. Directly in that bunker, dang it. All right, mm -hmm. I really don't know what I'm aiming at or what I'm gonna do. I just wanna get out of this bunker is basically what it is. Oh, sit down, mm -hmm. sit down. Okay, I'm out. 
I'm not gonna get too tricky. I'm just gonna try and get it close to the hole. If I can tap in after, then walk away with two putts, especially after it ended up in the bunker, I'll take it. I feel like it was too. <sighs> Can't beg for greatness. Got to earn it. All right, the tendency on this hole is to go super left. See, left. Dang it. I'm over the bunker, but super left. Dang it. My mind will not let me use a nine iron on this hole because it's 145 basically. And I keep saying, that's play it safe. Just take an eight, let it roll up. And I take an eight and I go 10 yards past the hole. It's frustrating. Well, at least I'm not in the water. Let's just see if I can chip it on. Sit down. My buns got so tight on that one. <laughs> I would love to end on a par, but a bogey would be fine. Slow down. Too fast. Too fast. Well, the positive that I could take from today is that I did play under bogey golf. So I broke bogey, which is, for me, really good. Um, listen, man, you just keep hitting, putting yourself in positive positions, and you get better. Again, you don't beg for greatness, you earn it. So this is Sticks and Halos coming to you again. This is Breaking Bogey.